For my demonstration, I'm going to be making cake balls. So you start out with a red velvet cake mix, and then you have to add the eggs, the oil, the water, and then you bake it, of course, and then after it's done, we'll see what happens. You want to make sure it's even so they I like have the same amount of time to cut. Screw that, whatever. Let's go. Now that it's preheated, you can put it in the oven. And then set the timer. And wait till it's done. Now you need to check with the toothpick to make sure they're done. If it comes out clean, then that means they're done. 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 Now we just have to wait on the cakes to cool, and then we will crumble them to make the cake okay. balls. Now that the cakes are done, we now have to crumble them. So you just like, basically, I wash my hands and then just crumble it with your hands. Now that it's all crumbled up, you're gonna add like icing and you can just guess like I normally go with like a half a container at first and then I'll see like eventually and you just do this with your hands too so now that it's in like a cookie dough consistency I just use like a cookie dough scoop and go like that just so you get like an even amount Roll it into a ball and set it down on there. You do that over and over again until all the cookie or all the cake. So now that we have all the cookie or cake balls <laughs> rolled out, then you do some chocolate. Just put it into a microwave safe bowl, or if you wanted, you could do it on the stove. I guess. I'll just do the whole bag. Okay. And then you put some um, shortening in there. <clears throat> So now it's a liquidy consistency. And so now you just drop the cake balls down in. And I haven't really found a way to do it neatly, so I just like drop some chocolate on them, roll them around, and then drop them onto the wax paper until they dry. Drop another one. Last one. So then you can put sprinkles on them if you want to make them colorful and pretty.